It's official. Production of the Tesla Cybertruck at Gigafactory Texas has begun. But the rumor is that Tesla will not be offering the 500 mile range version, at least not initially. Let's discuss some of the reasons why I believe Tesla would release a lower range version first, and also a recent tweet from Elon Musk that gives me hope that the Cybertruck may actually be more affordable than I previously estimated. I'm John, and this is CleanerWatt. On July 15th, the official Tesla Twitter account tweeted this image out with the text, first Cybertruck built at Giga Texas. Interestingly enough, on July 6th, as I covered in a previous video, at Henrix Zane did tweet out the fact that Cybertruck QA builds have commenced um, and that a delivery event was likely in October. So um, we kind of knew that this was happening right now, but it's great to know that officially, uh, Cybertruck production has begun. Now, when it comes to the rumor about Tesla not initially releasing a 500 mile range version of the truck, um, this rumor comes from at Bearded Tesla once again on Twitter, and he responded to this tweet from Tesla and, and wrote, quote, based on confidential conversations with three people, I believe we will be seeing only the 350 mile Cybertruck. Of course, when the Cybertruck was initially unveiled, Tesla discussed having three different versions, a single motor version that would have somewhere around 250 plus miles of range, a dual motor version that would have 300 plus miles of range, and a tri-motor version, which was supposed to have 500 plus miles of range. Based on a previous thread on Twitter that was posted by Matthew Donegan Ryan, who goes by at Matthew DR on Twitter, apparently Tesla doesn't plan to produce the single motor Cybertruck. So you can pretty much mark that one out. That then leaves the dual motor and the tri-motor Cybertruck versions. But now the question is, if Tesla does indeed release a 350 mile range version, will that be a dual motor version or a tri-motor version with less range than was initially unveiled? Well, if Tesla is able to release a 350 mile range dual motor version, that would of course be great because that would be more than the initial estimate. It would also be a great sign for Tesla's second generation 4680 battery cells, which I do expect, as I've discussed several times in past videos, to be more energy dense than the first generation 4680 battery cells. If the 350 mile range is for a tri-motor Cybertruck, that would of course be disappointing to a lot of people. Um, but it does seem possible that if Tesla wanted to hit weight, price, and performance numbers, um, having a smaller battery pack might be ideal, smaller than Tesla initially thought they would put in that variant. And um, even if the second generation 4680 battery cells are more energy dense and maybe wouldn't require the tri-motor version to have a lower range like this, once again, um, Tesla may be trying to target a certain weight and price. Um, and if they wanted to start off with a more expensive variant, and we'll talk about pricing later on in the video, but if they wanted to start out with a more expensive variant, like the, the tri-motor version, that's going to be a high-end version. And uh, it's good to start off with a high-end version at the beginning of production, when production costs are high it might make sense to have a little bit lower range to hit a certain price once again and to hit a certain weight, etc. Of course, that would be somewhat disappointing for a lot of folks, and I hope that's not the case, but I do think that is a possibility. Now, when it comes to the energy density of 4680 battery cells, I'm not gonna dwell on this topic for a long time. I've discussed this in depth in several other videos, but if you take a look, for instance, at the standard range all-wheel drive, Model Y that's equipped with a structural battery pack and 4680 battery cells. That vehicle um, has an EPA range of up to 279 miles. Whereas the long range all wheel drive version with 2170 batteries, that version has a range of up to 330 miles according to the EPA, which means that the 4680 equipped Model Y has approximately 15.5% less range, and that's due to less energy dense 4680 battery cells. Now we know based on a previous presentation that at Gigafactory Texas, Tesla is producing second generation 4680 
battery cells. And once again, based on a previous Tesla patent application and other information, I expect that the second generation of battery cells is more energy dense than the first gen 4680 battery cells. This is of course going to be really important for a vehicle like the Cybertruck because while of course Tesla could hit uh, 500 miles of range, I assume that would be possible with a lower energy dense battery cell. It would just make the weight really extreme and there is a possibility that maybe Tesla couldn't hit the performance, the weight, etc., with a lower energy dense battery cell. Now, if Tesla has increased the energy density of the 4680 battery cell from Gen 1 to Gen 2, once again, as I expect, this would help Tesla reach um, closer to the range targets. But once again, there is a possibility that even with the second gen battery cell, they're not quite where they need to be. And so this could lead them to wait for a 500 mile range version until they can actually do it more efficiently. Now, when it comes to the price of the Cybertruck, initially when Tesla unveiled the Cybertruck, a lot of people were excited about how affordable the Cybertruck would apparently be. Um, however, based on previous comments from Elon Musk, I have been assuming that the Cybertruck would be very expensive and quite a bit more than initially announced. The comments that Elon Musk made that made me think this um, were made during the May 16th uh, Tesla annual shareholder meeting where Elon Musk said, quote, we don't just need to ramp up production, but we also need to improve the production cost efficiency, which is going to be also a very hard thing. Later on, Elon Musk went on to say, quote, and like I said, it's going to be hard to make the cost affordable because it's a new car, new manufacturing method. Based on those comments from Elon Musk, in a previous video, I estimated that the Cybertruck could have a cost of between $90,000 and $120,000 when Tesla actually announces the official specs. However, Elon Musk recently tweeted something out, which makes me believe that I could be completely wrong on this and that the Cybertruck may actually be much more affordable than I estimated. On July 17th, Elon Musk tweeted out, quote, the Ford Lightning is a good vehicle, just somewhat expensive especially given the high interest rates these days for any kind of loan. So if Elon is calling the Ford F-150 Lightning expensive, that of course means that maybe the Cybertruck will try to target prices below that. Um, Ford did recently drop the prices of the F-150 Lightning, as was reported by this Reuters article, and now the base Pro model has a starting price of $49,995, and the higher end platinum model starts at around 91,995. So I believe at the very least, Tesla would want an equivalent Cybertruck model to be a little bit cheaper than the Ford F-150 Lightning. And after all, once the Cybertruck is fully ramped up, it should be a very efficient vehicle to manufacture, um, more efficient than other trucks. So Tesla should be able to offer a very good value with the Cybertruck. So this is actually really good news, this tweet from Elon Musk. Um, and it actually makes me think I was completely wrong with those previous uh, estimations. And hopefully something that Matthew Donegan Ryan on Twitter tweeted out, hopefully his predictions are closer to reality um, because Matthew Donegan Ryan predicted that the dual motor version would be released for around $59,999 and that the tri-motor version once released would be $79,999. I do hope Tesla does eventually actually bring out a 500 mile range version because for those customers who want to do towing with the Cybertruck, a long range is going to be really important because you lose quite a bit of range when you tow heavy loads or even if you have a heavy payload. So I believe a 500 mile range version is going to be important for the future. Now when it comes to how a 350 mile range Cybertruck would compare to the competition, the upcoming Ram 1500 REV is supposed to have a range of 350 miles to up to 500 miles of range. The Chevrolet Silverado EV should have a range between 350 miles and 450 miles. The Hummer EV truck offers up to 350 plus miles. Eventually the Rivian R1T is supposed to be offered with up to 400 miles of range. And of course the Ford F-150 Lightning offers up to 320 miles of range. So 350 miles of range would be sufficient but it would be very much middle of the pack and middle of the pack is not a place that Tesla likes to be. So I believe a 500 mile range version still will come, 
but I believe it's very possible that this rumor that at bearded Tesla shared on Twitter is accurate. Um, it seems very credible. We do have a Tesla conference call coming up pretty soon, and hopefully Tesla will release some more details then. But at the very least, since production has started, I believe that Tesla will release the official specs very soon, and we shouldn't have to wait too much longer. And then, um, then we won't have to guess anymore because we'll actually know. Do let me know what you think about all this in the comments section below. I'd love to hear what you think about all this. And also, I'd like to say once again, thank you to all of those of you who support me through Patreon. Your support makes a big difference and really does help make these videos possible. If you'd like to find out more about how you can support me through Patreon, I'll put a link in the video description. Thank you so much.